Do you suffer from shin splints or pain? If so, let's get rid of them with this five minute stretch for your shins. I'm Amy of Mastery Stretch, a Kihara, Master Kihara Resistance Stretch Therapist, and I'm here to help you to live without pain. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking right here. Okay, what you're gonna need, equipment needed, you're gonna need a block or a thick book and double balls. I prefer the yoga tune-up balls, they are firm, but a little, they have a little give. Uh, but any balls would work, two tennis balls, two lacrosse balls, put them in a sock, tie them up. <clears throat> but uh, if you're into this thing, definitely invest in these balls. You have the link in the, in the description if you want to get some. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to massage the shins. We're going to place the balls uh, on either side of the shin bone, okay? So go ahead. And you can also do this on like a, uh, a stool. Um, something elevated. Uh, if you don't have a block, you can do it on the floor. So go ahead, place the balls uh, like in the middle and then place your shin, uh, your leg in the, um, in the middle there and the balls on each side of the shin bone. And then we're going to go up and down. So we're going up and down. Massaging. You're going to feel those nice trigger points. Massaging up and down. Pause and twist the uh, lower leg. So you're twisting the whole leg side to side. All right, and then pause and move your foot in circles. So first we're releasing the tension and then we're going to do some elasticity stretching. All right, now we're going to move to the middle spot and go up and down. Pause and twist. And this is part of my three step stretch protocol. And if you, um, would like to work with me, I teach two 30 minute classes a week. So if you'd like to learn more about those Zoom classes, feel free to click the link that just popped up. All right, circles, twist and circles, and then we're gonna move another spot. <clears throat> we're gonna go up and down. And then pause and uh, twist the lower leg. And then pause again and do the circles. Okay, let's switch sides. <clears throat> so let's massage that tension out of the other side. Starting at the top and moving up and down. Pause and twist the lower leg. and then pause and make foot circles. <clears throat> Again, move to a different spot, go up and down, and feel free to linger somewhere if you, if you feel a real tight spot. Twist. This time we don't even realize we have so much tension here. And then circles. Last one here, up and down. And then we're gonna go into our elasticity stretching. These are our one second stretches that we're going to improve the elasticity, the springiness of our tissue. So first we release the tension, then we stretch it out to make it a little more resilient, the tissue a little more resilient. Oh, forgot to put circles here and put circles. Twist and foot circles. Okay, so now um, do some foot curls so you don't cramp up. So we're going to be actually stretching the, the ankle and shin area out. <clears throat> so make sure you're not pushing too hard to where the foot cr cramps up. So go ahead and extend the leg back as, as straight as possible without bending the knee. 
And then we're only holding the set to stretch for one second. We don't go too far into the stretch. We don't go too far out of the stretch. So we're going to repeat this 20 times. So it's going to look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Switch sides. Again, curl the toes a few times. And then extend back, lengthen the uh, uh, body. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. So you could feel this stretch. We're gonna switch right back to the other side. You're gonna feel this stretch anywhere from the top of the foot. One, two, ankle shin, even into the front of the hip. So it's getting that fascial line. Um, our fascia is our connective tissue. So all that is connected in the front of the body. So we're conditioning it to become more elastic, right? Switch sides, three sets of 20. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, one more time. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Last one here. One, two, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Great. Okay, hopefully that helped your shins, your champagne, your shin splints. And if you like that video, like this video, go ahead and click like, leave a comment, say, hey, that helped my shins, and then share it with somebody else that you know has shin pain. <laughs> Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video and you want to get the updates i'm going to be posting uh weekly videos and classes every every week <laughs> so you don't want to miss those and you can also subscribe to my newsletter by going to masterstretch.com and subscribe there uh hopefully that helped again if you liked more on the shins go ahead and click the next video i've got that uh ball massage for you um so you can save that for later if you need to go back and watch that video. So until next time, bye for now.